So I want to show you how to make a uh, minimap inside GDevelop. You can see that this is the platformer example you can find inside GDevelop. Okay, we are going to transform this into a minimap. Alright guys, you can download this example from the link down below. It's under the uh, Ichiyo website. You can pay for the example or you can download it for free. Alright, so go ahead and download the example. The link is down below. Uh, so let's go to the events. And uh, you can see that uh, I have disabled um, scrolling. The only object I added uh, was this uh, dot here, which is practically a clone of this here. Doesn't really matter. And this object here, okay, which is just a picture. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna set the uh, x position of the this object equals the x position of the um, player hitbox. Let's do that now. Uh, we're gonna take the um, um, position, x position, x position of the dot will be equals the x position uh, of the hitbox or the hitbox player. Okay. So let's see what that looks like. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let me uh, place this here. Okay, follows the um, the player. So we can uh, simply divide that by a number. Try two. Okay, and that uh, kind of works. I think it's going to have to be like five or six or something. Try, try, try six. That's five. Divided by six. Okay, and it moves a lot slower now. And uh, six seems to work fine, okay. Um, so now we just need the um, vertical position. Let me simply copy that and paste it. Replace that for the Y. And replace this by the Y as well. Position. Y position. And uh, I got to delete this one here. Okay, that also needs to be divided by a number. Try to divide it by six as well. See what we get. And you can see that we get the uh, correct position of the object on that small screen. Okay. Now this here is... Um, now uh, this stage is, uh, let me see, this is um, 800 by 405. Okay. Now if you make this uh, double the size, okay, let me, which I'm going to do right now. Right click and toggle enable. Okay. All right, so we probably want to set this on its own layer. Okay, let's do that now. Layers, add new layer. Call this a map. Select this and uh, let's place this under the map. And um, hide that for now. Place that under the map as well. Try it out. You can see that that works fine. Now, say I want to make this uh, double the size. Uh, this will be all right. So that gives me two seventy six. And um, let me make this um, 
1600 and that ends right here okay um okay let me see kind of needs to move a little bit I think it's close enough we're off by one pixel I think not too bad okay so now we set this back to um, whatever, window width back to 800. And there is our map. <laughs> now you probably don't want a map for a, for a platformer, but this probably will be useful for, for something like Zelda or something like that. Uh, Alright guys, so don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Okay. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video, bye now.